This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, you will need to open the file you saved at the end of the previous lesson. Select the Eagle. Click the black vinyl swatch from the Vinyls in Job palette in the status bar. Using the Zoom In tool, magnify a portion of Hampton University and a star. Select the outline of the stars. Hold down the Shift key and select the shadow of the text. Click the black vinyl swatch in the Vinyls in Job palette. Now select the text Hampton University. Do not select the shadow. Hold down the Shift key and select the distorted rectangle and text Semper Fidelis. Click the bright green color swatch on the vinyl color palette. Select all the stars. If they are grouped, you can click anywhere on a star to select them all. If they are not grouped, select each one while holding down the Shift key. Once they are selected, click the bright yellow color swatch from the vinyl palette. Click and drag the white color swatch from the Vinyls and Job palette to the work surface. This colors the background. Click View, Filled, or press the F8 key to preview the colors in the job. We can see that at this point there are some coloring elements that need to be fixed. Look at the text Semper Fidelis. Press F8 to return to wireframe view. Select the text and the box and click Arrange Combine On. Now we see that the text shapes inside the ribbon box are no longer colored with vinyl. Now select only the shadow of the text Hampton University. Click Arrange Combine On. The insides of the shadow letters are now no longer colored. Remember to save your file when you are finished. To send multiple vinyl colors to GSP Plot, click File Output by Vinyl. The Output by Vinyl dialog box will open. Click the top vinyl color to select it. Hold down the Shift key and click the bottom color to select all vinyl colors. Turn on Output by Separations to send each vinyl color to GSP Plot separately. Turn on Pause Between Separations to stop the plotter after cutting each color to allow you to change the vinyl. If you are using a 15-inch plotter, your design will have a panel line. Click the Layout icon on the GSP Plot toolbar. The Layout dialog box will open. Double-click the Height text box and enter 12.9, then click OK. The title bar indicates what vinyl color to be cut. To toggle between vinyl colors, use the Prior Vinyl and Next Vinyl buttons on the toolbar. Use these buttons when you need to recut a vinyl color, or if a particular color is already loaded in the plotter. Load the plotter with the appropriate vinyl and click the Cut Pounce icon to send the vinyl shapes of the displayed color to a plotter. Repeat this step for each vinyl color. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.